Well, hello there, and welcome to my virtual classroom. I'm Mr. Keemer. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Google Music Lab and seeing how we can make music through that platform. And if you've noticed, my classroom looks a little bit different, but that's okay. I'm actually going to be sharing my computer screen in just a moment, and I'll be looking at my computer, and uh, I'm going to be showing you how we can create music using the Google Lab. You ready? Here we go. Okay, so we're going to go to Google and type in Music Lab. So I'm going to type that in. And then we're going to go to the first one right here, the Chrome Music Lab. We're going to look at two things, the song maker and Kandinsky. We're going to start with Kandinsky. And I just think it's so fun. Now, Kandinsky was a painter who had, oh my goodness, I'm going to blank on exactly what it's called. Synesthesia, I believe, is what it's called. And it's where you see colors when you hear certain notes. And what we're going to do is we're going to change our color to here on the bottom. Maybe not. Maybe we're going to draw. So let's draw except it's not working. Let's hit refresh. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna draw certain things and you hear how it is playing music. So what I'm gonna do here at the bottom is hit play. And I'm gonna just go ahead and continue to draw and notice how it continues to add the music. And if I change the color, it changes the instruments. And you can just let this go on for as long as you'd like continue to create and over time what will happen is your drawings will kind of fade away and you can continue drawing. So that's Kandinsky. I just think that this is a great uh, a great thing to do when you just kind of need just a moment of relaxation. And you can change the colors again. I think my favorite is the orange. Cool. So that's Kandinsky and I want to show you one more thing. And that is the song maker. So in the song maker, you can make your own songs. And what we're going to do is we're going to go down here on the settings and we're going to change a, uh, one thing. And that is the scale. Instead of major, we're going to go to pentatonic. And pentatonic is just a certain note. It's about five notes and it only uses the five notes. And the thing I like about pentatonic is I can pretty much put anything in here and it'll go with each other. So I'm, what I'm going to do is just we're just going to make a random song. And I'm just going to kind of put colors in here. Cool. And then down here is I'm going to make it a drum kit. So I'm going to click kit. And I'm going to go just a very simple boom tap rhythm with the kick drum and the snare drum. All right, so let's see what we have. Nice. And see with that pentatonic, I, I can add notes. Let's add all that and see what it sounds like. All right. And then once you have something that you're pleased with, what I want you to do is, I'm going to hit stop, is you're going to go here to save. And what I would love for you to do is you don't have to, but you can go ahead and copy this link and share it with me. I'm going to put an email down in the description and email me your piece. Email me what you came up with. And there are, there are lots and lots of things that you can do with the, with the Chrome Music Lab. It's not just kind of what I showed briefly here, but it's just kind of an introduction to, to kind of get that started. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me and kind of exploring this Google Music Lab. And I hope that you have a lot of fun creating. And again, if you, uh, what, if you create a song, save it and share it with me. I'd love to hear it. And I'll have an email where you can send those songs to in the description. Well, thank you so very much. I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.